Cyprus means history. First of all, means past. Means the contribution for culture, for civilization. As a platform between East and West, between Europe and Africa and the East and Middle East, among cultures and civilizations, just like Portugal, surrounded by ocean, by the sea, just like Portugal. So even before climate change and the oceans became an issue, that issue already existed in Cyprus and in Portugal. We have old histories, old traditions. We shared so many common experiences in the past. And more recently, how not to pay tribute to your president, Makarios, an icon, an impressive personality in the history of uh, Europe and uh, the humanity. But uh, our ties are not just made of history, of past. They're made of present. And I would like very, very much to pay tribute to your long terms as president of the Republic of Cyprus. Long and uh, successful terms. and how you understood from the beginning how close we were and we should be forever. And now we have so many fields where we could develop our relations. Education, healthcare, let us speak of the pandemic and the post-pandemic, science, technology, innovation, digital revolution, energy transition. You know that Portugal has 60% of renewables and we intend to have around 80% in 2030. So, so much to do together on that subject. And this, and tourism, <clears throat> and uh, social relations could match with uh, so good political and diplomatic ties we have kept throughout the years. And then we are <clears throat> Europeans. We belong to the same family. Our European brotherhood doesn't impeach other brotherhoods, the Portuguese-speaking countries, community, the Ibero-American community, partnerships in every continent, and the same for you. That's why we do understand how vital it is for Europe the dialogue with Africa. Not just because there are migration, but because we live <clears throat> and for centuries, a common history. And the same for Asia, as you pointed out. Well, at the level of Europe, <clears throat> we've been sharing the same points of views. Politically speaking, diplomatically speaking, economically speaking, financially speaking, above, about the cohesion policies. And also about what is happening in Ukraine. That's why we stress today, both in our bilateral talk and in the delegations talks, the European Union concerning the condemnation of Russian Federation for the brutal and anachronic invasion of Ukraine. And we are supporting Ukraine 
on every field. And we are facing the, a double issue, the migration, not coming from the south or the east, but uh, southern east, but from uh, Ukraine. And at the, at the same time, we stress the transatlantic uh, unity, so important, not just when we speak of the Ukrainian issue, but when we speak of the future, the relations between the uh, United States of America and the uh, European Union. But we also share multilateralist approaches concerning global problems of the world. Climate change, migration, terrorism, the oceans, <clears throat> and so many others. We stress the European Union concerning the costs of the war. We are deeply, deeply concerned by the situation of so many people your people, our people, European people, people all over the world, on account of the economic, social, financial costs of this war. And he, inside the European Union, we try to find out common policies to deal with these uh, dramas. One of those fields is energy policies. That's why we welcome proposals like the one of the European Commission on Energy, trying to find a fair solution for this specific situation. When you live an exceptional situation, you must find out exceptional measures. <coughs> during these so difficult times of war. And then, of course, we do belong to the same Med 9 group, working on Eastern Mediterranean. And we do understand <clears throat> everything that is obvious for the international community. We all know that the international community recognize your independence, your sovereignty, your territorial integrity. It was that way that you joined the European Union. <clears throat> and it was obvious for all the members of the European Union, was and is, and for the international community, the reality of uh, the state. So that's why we join what the Secretary General Antonio Guterres has been doing ever since he was elected in his first term and again in the second term, trying to find out a way of keeping alive <coughs> which is meaningful to face problems, <clears throat> noises, of irritating situations that from time to time deepen structural long-term issues to solve. And so, uh, this first visit of a Portuguese president to <coughs> Cyprus is meaningful. Is meaningful. Means that uh, we share so much that we must be in touch at every level. We were already at so many other levels. Prime Minister Guterres came here. Ministers, Portuguese ministers and uh, 
Cypriot ministers have been <coughs> traveling and visiting each other. <coughs> and then, of course, I cannot hide the personal honor and pleasure I had of being myself the one to be meeting you 25 years ago after the moment I got to know you and to admire your style, your very specific style, of defending your uh, wonderful country. Each head of state has his own style, but your style is really unique. <clears throat> unique. You are everywhere all over the world. And uh, as so many of your co-citizens are all over the world, and also of our co-citizens, we have diaspor diasporas. Yes. And people that have uh, strong diasporas <clears throat> are people that had the courage of leaving their own territories to form communities abroad. And this means <clears throat> we are extroverted people. We love the world. Being <clears throat> Cypriot, being Portuguese is being universal. We are universal. So it was so good to have you here as President of the Republic. <clears throat> Just before the end of uh, your term, uh, myself not far away, just three years and a half to go. You I know that for you, that's too long. I've just had five, uh, five months. Five months. Anyway, go. yes, you're free at ease <laughs> now, thinking it's just three months in your case. But <clears throat> it was a very happy coincidence to be here to tell you how do the Portuguese people appreciate, admire this beautiful country, its nature, its people, its past, its present, and its future. 